sorry if it's hard to catch my vibe I need a lover to trust, tell me you're on my side Are you down? What is going on everybody? Apple World here And yesterday Apple launched WatchOS 5 Beta 2 to all developers And I found 5 new features and changes that are pretty big Walkie Talkie is finally here So, let's check it out Alright guys, so the first change that I could see in watchOS 5 Beta 2 is this icon right here. The breathe suggestion from the Siri watch face has slightly been redesigned. Let's play something on our HomePod for example. Let's go ahead and press play. Let me turn down the volume. Now on our actual watch face, we will see this button right here, which is actually a now playing button, um, which is actually in every single watch face. So let's go ahead and swipe to another watch face. There you go. We can now tap on our now playing. Um, to be honest, it's kind of small. Um, so in beta 3, hopefully Apple will make it a little bit bigger. This is actually a screenshot that I took this morning. On beta 1, this didn't actually seem to work. Automatic workout detection uh, wasn't actually working on beta 1. Now it's fully functioning in beta 2. Alright guys, so the walkie-talkie app, what you've all been waiting for, it's not working, let's go ahead and open it, and it now says, walkie-talkie, a fun way to talk to other Apple Watch users. So let me go ahead and go to the bottom and go ahead and find a contact. And there we go, let's go ahead and tap on Steph from Cult of Mac, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, links will be down below. His channel is amazing and he also focuses around Apple. If we scroll to the top, we will now see an available button, which will make us offline with the walkie-talkie app and online with the walkie-talkie app. So how's your day going? If you turn the digital crown inside of the walkie talkie app, you can actually control the volume of the walkie talkie app independently from the actual watch. Inside of the workout app, if we actually swipe to the left, these icons right here have been slightly redesigned. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for everything that I could find in watchOS 5 Beta 2. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys find any new features or any new changes that of course I haven't featured in the video. If you guys want to help support the channel and buy some awesome t-shirts, make sure to check out appleworldclothing.com. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. If you're not subscribed, 